Hello everyone, I'm Miss Jane from Gritters Branch Library, part of the Cobb County Lo Public Library System. Today I'm going to read you The Not-So-Quiet Library, written by Zachariah Ahura. Every Saturday, Oscar and Theodore got up bright and early, not to watch cartoons or play outside with their friends. It was the day they went to the library with Dad. Dad always said that a day of quiet exploration required a proper breakfast. They're going to get donuts. At the library, Theodore and Oscar returned to old books, waved to Mrs. Watson, and crept past old pickled onion Mr. Tasker. They headed down to the children's department while Dad headed up to the nap department. Oscar and Theodore were just settling into another quiet library day when boom, crash, growl, shh, knock it off, Theodore, boom, crash, growl, it's not me. It appeared there was another, a monster in the library. There's a monster in the library. Told you it wasn't me. They couldn't outrun the monster, so they tried hiding. You better not mess with us monsters. My brother knows Kung Fu. Yeah, right, they said. You're bluffing. They even tried trapping the monster but that just made him angrier. Growl. The only option left was diplomacy. Excuse me, Mr. Monster. Is something wrong? Yeah, there's something wrong. We hate books. The many-headed monster tried everything to make books taste good. Seymour topped his whipped cream, but it tastes terrible. Chuck tried mustard. Yuck. Winston swallowed his book whole. Pat tried hot sauce, but it was too hot. Should have picked a soft cover. Bob used sprinkles, but they just bounced off. Actually, books are for reading. What? You mean the whole restaurant is filled with things we can't eat? Well, we'll just have to eat you guys instead. Grab the sprinkles. Finally. Wait. That's when Theodore remembered something. Donuts. Right under his hat. Perfect. You guys will taste great with donuts on top. Yum, yum. Thankfully, Miss Watson stepped in. Story time, everyone. Please sit crisscross applesauce. Mmm. Story time. Sounds tasty. I like applesauce, they said. Sorry about the whole gonna eat you thing. That was just the low blood sugar talking. Books sound so much better than they taste. Luckily, the monsters like story time as much as they liked donuts. After story time, the monster promised to help clean up the library. Besides, Miss Watson could really use some help reaching the high shelves. The boys promised to return for a story time every Saturday after Bob and Seymour and Winston and Pat and Chuck promised not to eat them. And that's how the not so quiet library became quiet again. The end. Thank you.